Government Minister Ed Mandelan has also hit back at the allegations leveled against him during his tenure as Minister of National Security. He said the utterances by Carlton Denny on a UNC political platform were vastly untrue. In a joint press briefing today alongside National Security Minister Stuart Young, the now housing Minister Dillon said, one has only to look back at the track record of Mr. Denny during his time at the Trinidad and Tobago Defense Force to question the credibility of his claims. I have never had that conversation with Mr. Carlton Denny. And I know for a fact the Prime Minister never had such conversation. And this gentleman now is coming to the public to tell us as though he is better than anyone. He's had a track record where he's ill-disciplined, insubordinate, and his performance lacks a lot. And therefore, he was terminated based on performance and based on of a, of a issue of very sensitive nature. He could not, could not continue in a highly sensitive organization as a strategic service agency. He said Mr. Danny also sought his own interest while at the SSA, attempting to negotiate deals which, according to Mr. Dillon, were a grave conflict of interest. To sell the agency, that system, and a cost of five to six million dollars. I said there's a conflict of interest. You are working with a strategic service agency and you're trying to sell us a system that you have developed. A 2009 secret document which has been made public in light of the allegations details several complaints about Mr. Danny, namely insubordination, task avoidance and insightful or disruptive behavior. And Minister of National Security Stuart Young is warning citizens not to be swayed by what he describes as the political tactics being played out by the opposition UNC. Weighing in on the comments by fired SSE employee Carlton Danny last evening, Mr. Young said there's little he can directly add on the matter. Because the truth is, until that newspaper report this morning that I read at 2 a.m. this morning, I did not even know of the gentleman's existence. When we came into government in 2015, I was appointed to sit on the National Security Council. Minister Dillon was then the Minister of National Security. And I can confirm without fear of contradiction that at no point in time that did this Mr. Denny appear before the National Security Council. He, however, denounced suggestions by Mr. Denny that he used his portfolio as National Security Minister to influence investigations. But I also saw the video of him last night, as he said, Stuart Young Ministry and Stuart Young Police Service. <clears throat> Stuart Young has no ministry, and I certainly have no police service. As the Minister of National Security, I have never interfered in any police investigation. I can say that without fear of contradiction.